Welcome back to another one of our two minute tactics videos. Are you making this mistake with your press? Well, maybe let's not. What mistake am I talking about? I'm not talking about a mistake with your hips. We covered a common mistake with the hips a couple weeks ago. We'll link to that up here as well as in the description below. I'm talking about a mistake with the start position of your press, the position from which you throw, from which you launch the bar at the beginning of the movement. But I'm not talking about your start position for rep one. You already know how to unrack it correctly with your elbows slightly in front of the bar, with your wrists in a relatively neutral, although not completely straight position. And if you don't, we'll link to a video on how to do that. I'm talking about the start position for every other rep except for the first rep. This is a real common problem. When people perform the press, they lock it out overhead and they lower it back to a position where the elbows are now behind the bar and the wrists are in full extension. In other words, they're bent backwards. In other words, they're lowering it in a lazy fashion. Do not do this. You want to finish the press for the purposes of this discussion. The finish point is going to be back at the beginning. So not overhead, although I realize that's where you really finish the press. But you want to finish the press where you started the press. It should look identical. You don't want to lower it with the elbows behind the bar and then have to put your elbows forward and re-straighten your wrists. Don't do that. That's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. And you know from experience that a set of five or a set of three on a press can be exhausting just by virtue of having to hold the bar in place for a while. So don't make it any worse on yourself. There's two ways to fix this. One, when you lower the bar, tell yourself to lower it with your elbows in front of the bar all the way down. And number two, tell yourself to aim for your nose on the way down. Or more simply, here's a third option. Remind yourself to finish where you start. So when you lower it, elbows in front, shave your nose on the way down, finish where you start. It will save time, it will save energy, you will have a stronger press because of it. As always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.